We want to get right to that breaking news, a type of weather event they say happens only once every thousand years. Close to 10 inches of rain, a summer's worth, essentially falling in some areas in just hours. The result? Flash flooding that turned dangerous and deadly, with a woman being swept away trying to reach higher ground. There have been dozens of rescues, many of them in New York, while in Vermont, almost that entire state under a flood warning tonight. Nine million at risk for flash flooding, which has destroyed dozens of roads and wiped out tracks on a busy commuter railroad servicing New York City. And it's not just here in the Northeast, much of the South and the Southwest still dealing with a brutal heat wave. In a moment, Al Roker will tell us where that heat dome has moved and what's next. But we begin with Emily Aketa in hard hit New York. Emily, so many there caught off guard with this flooding. Tom, absolutely. Officials called the flooding here a once in 1,000 year event with enough force to even dislodge guardrails, as you can see behind me. And the unrelenting rain isn't over yet for those north of us. Tonight, a brutal bout of storms inches north, washing out roads and kicking Swiftwater rescue teams into high gear. States of emergency declared in parts of New York, Connecticut, and Vermont. I'm Kristen Dogger here in Vermont where the rain just isn't letting up. Some towns have already seen over seven and a half inches. Flash flooding has cut off entire communities. Dozens of roads are closed. And now some rivers are approaching major flood stage. Almost the entire state still on high alert as we head into the overnight hours. Watch as floodwaters pour over this dam. The governor there comparing the relentless rain to Tropical Storm Irene in 2011. This is an all hands on deck response. We are closely coordinating with federal partners. The dangerous downpour comes as residents in New York's Hudson Valley today are digging out. Everything's destroyed. A summer's worth of rain falling in just a day, collapsing roadways and stranding cars in dangerous flash flooding. I've been here 16 years. I've never seen flooding like this at all. Back up there with New York State troopers used ropes Sunday to rescue drivers. And authorities had to save 700 passengers stuck aboard Amtrak in Putnam County. They're calling this a 1,000 year event. Authorities say 43 year old Pamela Nugent died while trying to evacuate her home that had been overtaken by water. It looked like a raging ocean with a hurricane. Nearby, Savannah Pitcher waded through treacherous floodwaters to reach her grandmother and help guide her to higher ground. If you had not gotten to your grandmother, what do you think would have happened? I don't think everybody would be okay, honestly. I just watched my car just swim away. Tonight in Pennsylvania, residents are facing the aftermath of Redding's wettest day in three years. While back in Vermont, first responders are bracing for a potentially long night. All right, Emily Aketa joins us now live. Emily, you're in one of the worst hit towns in New York. Give us a sense of the impact there. Well, Tom, if you take a look at the damaged bridge behind me, you can get a sense for just how high those racing floodwaters reach with debris stuck in the fencing. And you can see why roadways are expected to be closed for the foreseeable future. The sweeping storms also impacting Amtrak service and disrupting thousands of flights. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.